Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Spyro Year of the Dragon, the Reignited Trilogy version. So, last time we checked out Icy Peak and uh, managed to fully complete the level, and I, and of course, right at the end of the episode, I had to uh, add in an extra clip because I did initially forget about the skill point there, but I did get it in the end. However, today we are going to be checking out Enchanted Towers, and I do know that there is actually a skill point to get in this level, so I'm definitely not going to forget this time. <laughs> and yeah, Enchanted Towers should be a fun level. We are going to meet uh, Sergeant Bird in this level as well. We're going to get some help from him. But not in the same way as we had, like, you know, when we've encountered uh, other playable characters in some of the previous levels. You will see eventually what I mean. But for now, let's head into Enchanted Towers and see what is going on. I'm going to assume there's going to be a bunch of enchanted towers. Huh, who'd have thought? I mean, I could be well off there, but I'm expecting at least a few towers. But we shall see. Flame the uh, loading screen, Spyro. There you go. Keep flaming. Do a little spin while you're at it. Yeah. As we head into Enchanted Towers, the usual six dragon eggs and I think 500 gems to get. And a skill point. Oh, wow. I already picked up a few gems. Nice. That's probably because uh, Sparks has the uh, ability that we unlocked in um, the first Sparks level. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. Huh. If you ask me, the statue is far prettier than she is. You know what? I'm, I'm probably going to agree with you there, Pablo. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a... Oh, I thought you were going to say something else when I pressed that. Never mind. All right. I was hoping you'd have some extra dialogue. Also, oi, leave that sheep alone. Only I'm allowed to kill the sheep. <laughs> Naked sheep. Right, come on, Sir Sparks. Ooh, okay, we have a rock to swallow, so let's grab that because. Oh, yes. Ooh, cheeky. Well, that's just rude. Alright. Oh, that, I was going to say, was there a rock that spat out? There it is. Tell you what, let's get you from a distance instead. I somehow missed. Wow, my aim is terrible today. Uh, just, just stay still. Whoa! I thought I got you for a second. Wait, where's the rock? There it is. Okay, you just stay still for a moment. That's it. You get back to where you are chilling. Wow, you... My aiming is really bad today. Right, just stand still for a minute. Thank you! Oh, get wrecked! Man, I actually anticipated that. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, there's a balloon in the air, but you know what? Actually, I might be able to reach. Actually, I might be able to shoot it down from here. I wonder. Can I shoot that down? No, I can't. Wait a minute. Well, well, look what it is. A weird creature holding up and balancing a bone. Where have we seen that before? Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll find out what's uh, going on. Oh, hello. Whoa, I think I just leapt right off your big mallet there. <laughs> oh, hey Zoe. And some gems on the roof there, but it's not going to be easy for Spyro to get to it. Anyway, first dragon egg already. Gladys! Bless you. <laughs> nice. Man, 55 eggs already. We're making some decent progress here. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello is, hello to you too. Yeah, can you just... Thank you. Cheap. Thank you. Oh, one of those flying things. All right. C uh, can you just stop for a minute, please? Stop for a minute, please. Yeah, you, you hovering there is going to be very useful, isn't it? There you go, right in the face. I <laughs> uh, don't see anything else in here, so let's keep on going. Up the magic whirlwind. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's that horrible statue. 
yeah, I think we need to... Well, there's no way to say this. We, we need to destroy it. Also, more flying enemies, but I can't really get to you, so we're just going to have to leave you alone for now. We'll have to find another way to get you. Anyway, in the meantime, that's a rocket, I see. Ooh, nice. So I'm going to let you attack first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was literally r riding on top of that uh, rhino there. <laughs> Fun times. Oh, hello. Yeah, can you just swing first? There you go, because if I try to attack first, there's a good chance that particular rhino will actually attack me. Anyway, let's set off another rocket. There it is. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> a bit of debris actually landed right near me. Ah, invisible wall. I can get you. You know what, I'm going to get rid of the other one just so you're out of the way because you're going to be kind of annoying. Ooh, wow, I actually did manage to clip you. And one more rocket. You're welcome. Oops, I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Yeah, I did notice the egg uh, at the top of uh, that statue's um, wand. I guess it's also, I guess it's technically a scepter, isn't it, or something? But either way, looks like Peanut is just fine. Yep, absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with Peanut whatsoever. Seems absolutely A-OK. -okay. Right, and with that, wow, we actually already uh, completed the main mission. But of course we are far from done. So much to check out. And yes, there's a whole bunch of enemies high in the sky that not even Spyro can get. Although, we can get you. Oh, I could get you if I actually hovered properly. But kind of peculiar that we see this particular creature again. A bone. Ha ha ha. A certain someone, by the looks of it, has made a return in Year of the Dragon. And I kind of want to see if I can... Wait, there he is. There he is, just in the distance. Look who it is. There's a familiar face. I think I can glide over there. Oh, this is going to be tight! Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get you lot without using some rocks. Well, I'll just leave them to it. Uh, can I get on the whirlwinds, though? Yes, because I kind of want to talk to... Uh, what's his name? Uh, wait, where is he? He's over here. I'm sure I can climb over here. Yeah, look who it is! It's... It's the Bones Skeleton Guy, whatever his name is. And I've forgotten your name, but hey, long time no see. You're doing great. Please find the rest of the bones so we can put my friend back together. Uh, it's a shame I picked up a bone because I think he actually... I think Uga actually says something, but... Yeah, Uga from Skelos Badlands back in the... World of Avalar from the previous game is, is uh, presumably taking a little uh, vacation here. But Spyro is certainly not going to be able to get all of these bones, that's for sure. And that is where Sergeant Bird comes into play. And, yep, yeah, step inside, old chum. I will do just that because rather than going into a separate area... I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the eyelids whenever you want me to. Go on patrol, sir. It's good to be back in action. Take it away, Sergeant Bird. Yep, Sergeant Bird gets to take control. Whoa! Gets to take uh, control in this area. Which is very unusual. This is certainly... Certainly a unique thing about this level with... Uh, if you encounter another playable character, so that's pretty cool. And even though you clearly have r missiles, apparently these particular jars are indestructible. Wow. 
They are strong stuff. And seeing as I have Sergeant Bird, let's actually grab some of these gems and also kill a bunch of these flying enemies. That's all. Grab. Okay, I have no idea where that rocket was firing. <laughs> Picking up a very random target. That's fine. Also, where we destroyed our statue, there is a hole there, but we're going to come back to that once we re uh, return to Spyro's control. Uh, let's just grab some of these gems. I know there's a room in one of these towers that only Sergeant Birds can get in. Although, pardon. Oh, wrong target. There we go. Oh, right in the face. All right, four bones. Ow! That was uncalled for. How dare you? Don't r don't run away from me now. That's what you get for a sneak attack on me. Honestly, these enemies. They're sneaky gits. Anyway, let's get some health. There we go. Uh, let's just flap up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there is another room here. Nice, that's the fifth one. I know at least two more are in the higher towers. Right, let's kill you. I'm pretty sure I did see an enemy fly around somewhere. Could be wrong. Yeah, there he is. I thought I saw you. Uh, that's where... Yeah, that's where the whirlwind is, so Spyro can get up there. But you know what? Seeing as we have a, a rare opportunity to control a different playable character in a main level, we're going to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Fire off that rocket for absolutely no reason, Sergeant Bird. Nice. Right, let's keep on going. Uh, great aim there, um, uh, missile. Okay, so those baskets can be easily destroyed. But weirdly, not the... Uh... Oh, was that another enemy assault? But weirdly, not the uh, metal jars. Okay, let's get rid of you. Before I forget, let's just grab these gems. Nice. Well, apparently I missed another enemy. Although, hey, here's another one of those, uh... What are they called? Are they called lava lizards or something? I can't remember what they're called now from the previous game. Anyway, take care of that enemy. And I don't think I see any more. I think we finally got them all. Still short on two bones. Make that one. Pretty sure... Yeah, there you are. You're over there. I'm not going to get you just yet. I want to make sure I get these gems because I kind of want to save another journey, but I'm probably missing a gem anyway. Anyway, let's grab this bone and put together Uga's uh, skeleton friend. Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Oh yeah, that sucks, doesn't it? Not having room in your luggage. Well, I'll gladly take the souvenir. It's Ralph. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again. Oh yeah, here we go. He hasn't changed a bit. Nice. Good to see. 
Our old skeleton friend hasn't changed a bit. In fact, has he got some new moves since uh, the previous game? I'm not sure. But you know what? I'm going to let you carry on. Uh, because I want to see whether there's anything left. Apart from that gem, I think... Oh, no, there is an enemy. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, Sergeant Bird. You're not quite ready to stand down just yet. Nice. Right, I'm just going to do a quick flight around, just to make sure I've not missed anything. And assuming that I've got everything, we are going to uh, regain control of Spyro. So let me just have a quick fly around. I do see like a, a head bash chest that I need to open, but uh, I'll open that once I regain control of Spyro. So let me just have a quick look around, just to make sure I've not missed anything. Oh, I missed a random gem in this building. Huh. How did I miss that? It was right behind. It was right behind me. But apart from that, I'm not seeing anything missing. So, well, unless there is one random gem that I somehow missed, I think we are going to return to that little hut and bring back Spyro. But we are far from done with this level. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you... No, nope, you're, you're going off duty now, uh, Sergeant Bird. I'll be here when you need me. Well, thanks for the help, Sergeant Bird. Now it's time for Spyro to finish off this level. And yes, we can actually... Whoops. We can now go in this portal. Seeing as we couldn't uh, go in this way with uh, Sergeant Bird. Anyway, uh, what's going on here? I was playing catch with my pet wolf, Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there, and I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll see what I can do, uh, Moat. Let's have a look. What's going on? Oh, yeah, there's your pet. Don't worry, little buddy. I'm sure we'll find a way out. Oh, you want to play? You want to play fetch? All right. Come on then, follow me. You gonna follow me? What if I spit it? You gonna follow me? Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, is that a target I see at the at uh, the top there? Hang on a minute. I think I see a target. Oh, I see what I need to do. Uh, can you... Just sit on that button. Aha, I remember this. So you sit on the button so I can then hit the target. Nice. Wait a minute. Oh, can I keep you as a pet for the journey? Look at that, this Rhinoc. This huge Rhinoc is scared of a tiny little wolf. And yet... That gigantic uh, Rhinoc seems to have no issue with trying to attack Spyro. Oh, I kind of want to keep this uh, wolf around as a pet for the rest of the game. Sorry, Sparks. I know you're kind of with me all the time, but... Oh, hang on. This uh, Rhinoc is uh, being a bit braver. But, uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep this wolf around. Anyway, I think I remember what to do here, so if I could just spit that all the way over there. That's it, you can jump across. And I can keep on going. Another button to hit. Uh, okay, this requires a bit of planning here. Hang on. Uh, so if I, I think, go on here. And then spit that on there. Hopefully. Oh no, wait, that lowers that. I see. So. 
Ah, I see. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to, I need to go on the, I need to go on the button. <laughs> I need you to go on the button. Okay, apparently I can't spit like that. Come on, try again. Okay, that was weird. Come, uh, come on, off the button, off the button, off the button. There you go, slowly but surely. <laughs> slowly but surely. There we go. <laughs> You're somehow blocking the path, aren't you? There we go. Well, hopefully you'll land on that. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, there we go. Hang on, hang on, little buddy. Let me uh, crash it through the wall. There we go. Oh, hello. You behind me? Yeah, there you are. Surprise! You found Farley. How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but... Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, I suppose you're real right, Moat. But as long as the content on the inside is unharmed, then we should be all right. And, yeah, lease seems okay. Right, uh, any more gems to be found, or have we found them all? I think we found them all in this little area. Excellent. Right, let's head on out and go to the next area. Although, before we do, I kind of want to see if I can get to that uh, head bashing uh, container before I head to the area, before I forget. It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right, it was over there. Nice, and I think Sparks is pointing to the other sub area, so I think we might be good with the gems. Oh no, there is something else nearby. Alright, we'll uh, have to track that down after, but for now, let's head to the. not to the bottom of the, uh, the side there. We need to go on top of here. There we go. You know, I was gonna say head bash, but that kinda didn't work. But never mind, let's head in here. Because the skill point to get in this one, uh, if we go into the guidebook, is Skateboard Course Record 2. So, yep, that means it's time for some more skateboarding, just like we did in Sunny Villa. So, that of course means we have Hunter again. But before I talk to him, let's actually just grab some of these gems before I forget. Some of these gems are kind of out of the way. Thank you very much, Sparks. I tell you what, Sparks' ex extra like range with um, his reach with grabbing the gems is definitely uh, making gem collecting a lot easier. Anyway, I think there's a few gems hidden around somewhere else, but I think we just got to go on the skateboard for now. What's up, Hunter? Is the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you could really rack up a huge score in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Well, I kind of know some moves already, Hunter, but let's go for it. Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the jump button. I'll show you how to do it once, then it's your turn. Oh man, yeah, this is going to be very difficult to do, isn't it? Oh wow, action and all that. Okay, Easy. now try doing a roll. You can roll in midair by holding down the action button while steering left or right with the left stick. Simple enough, yep. Kind of already did that in uh, Sunny Villa where I had to use those moves to, to, you know, get the course record. Easy. Hey, nice roll. Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push forward or back on the left stick instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the action button, and press forward or back. Alright, Hunter. Give us a flawless demonstration. That's pretty flawless. Whoa! 
Oh, you must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. Okay, simple enough. You know what? I'll do a few All rotations. Right. You nailed it! Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as much height as you can, spin two and a half revolutions in the air, and land back on the ramp. Okay. A 900. Alright then. Let's see a 900. <laughs> Show off. Easy. Now that was a 900. I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. Okay, fair enough. Score 500 points on the giant ski ramp. Right, so we have some options. Okay, that's where some of the gems are. Alright then. So if I don't jump, I just... Yeah! Wow, you learn really fast. How about a twisted line? Again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing this nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had just about pulled it off when suddenly I ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can still have this egg. Hmm, I'm curious to see how you pull off the Nasty Nork. I think it. I think that is actually a legit um, move, but I, have, I cannot remember how to do it. I'm pretty sure I remember doing that in the past. In the, uh, the original games. Ah. Uh, sweet Caroline. I think you're ready to try some one-on-one. -on -one. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's go. All right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. Okay, then. Score the most points. The freestyle competition lasts for two minutes. I don't know if I can get the skill points during this or whether I have to do it separately. Oh, there we go. Nice. Immediate 1100 points. I'll tell you what, let's head back and this time, oh, well, grab that gem. Do some crazy spins! Oh, look at that. Insane moves already. Okay, there's a twisted line. Alright, let's just do a couple of Simple spins. That was a spin to the left. Let's do a spin to the right. Nice. Okay, I'm not going to get too many points now for doing the same move, so let's keep going. There we go. That's 7,100 points. Oh, twisted. Uh oh. Where am I going? Apparently, I'm going this way. Oh, I am absolutely destroying Hunter. Ah. Oh. Okay, but it looks like there's nothing up there. I think I remember rightly, I think the course record is 10,000, I think? Oh my god, that was a long wipeout. Come on, get up. Come on, get up, Spyro. Oh, I'm choking here. Okay, let's just do some basic moves. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get 10,000. I need. I think I need 10,000. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing somewhere I had to get 10,000. Right, let's try... Oh, wait! The Nasty Nork! There we go. I don't know what I did. I think I held the spin button and went down left, I think. I think. I'm not sure, but I somehow got the Nasty Nork. I can't believe it! How did you get so good already? Who knows? Maybe someday you'll even break my course record. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Don't worry. As a dragon, I can easily make it hatch. Hey, there's Alex and there's a sheep. Witnessing it as well. Oh dear. <laughs> right in that sheep's face. Awesome. Oh, but of course that didn't count. Oh, do I have to do it again? 
fine. That's annoying because I've actually managed to somehow pull off the nasty Nork. Oh, how did I do the nasty Nork? Oh, that's going to be annoying. I want to try and do it now. Come on, I landed straight there. Okay, let's not go too crazy with the rolls. Okay, I do see where... Oh, wait a minute. I know how we get some of the skill points. Wait a... Oh, it'll be uh, special points. Wait a minute. I remember how to do this now. I remember how to do some of this. They get some bonus points. Oh, gold right on the wall. That was unfair. Okay, you know what? Can I just give up because... That is a... Yeah, 10,000. So I need to get 10,000. That's annoying because I did get that against Hunter. But I guess I had to do it properly. All right. Well, you know what? There's no point in uh, showing the whole thing. I might as well just skip ahead until I get the necessary uh, record. Hey, there's the crush. Now let's see if I can go the other way. For some big points. Nice, and there's the gulp. Nice reference to Spyro 2 there. Okay, I believe this is how you get a certain bonus. Yeah, the triple towers. Let's finish off with a spin. Ah, oh, but I'm still quite a bit short. Okay, I need to ramp it up a bit. A couple more gems in here. Let's... Oh, and there's the gap. Oh, I'm still a little short, though. Okay, I need less than 500 points. No. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think I'm going to get it. No. Damn. Just a bit short. That should have... My original... Uh, Attempt there should have counted. Uh, okay, let's try again. Okay, just grab that gem there. There we go. Finally got the target. Nice. With a couple of seconds to spare. Excellent. So that is the skill points, but I do see at least one chest there. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, somehow get to it. <laughs> um, if you can crash off the skateboard, Spyro, that would be much appreciated. Oh, I guess not. All right, fine. I guess we're just going to have to try and get this annoying basket. Oh, God. That's way too high. <laughs> right, let's try. Oh, I need to try and get this. Oh, come on, don't slip on that Spyro. I must be able to get to it from here. Oh, come on, Sparks, you can get that. Come on, Sparks. Oh, come on, Sparks, are you serious? Right, all right, fine. We're going to have to try and get this annoying gem somehow. How am I meant to get to this gem if I keep overshooting? There we go. Sparks finally got it. Yes, I wasn't aiming for a record. That's fine. But it looks like... Yep, we've found all the gems in this area. There's just one rogue one probably somewhere. Yeah, there's two gems hiding somewhere. Probably a green gem, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably a green gem. Where am I missing it? Hmm... Not giving me much idea there, Spyro. So clearly somewhere over there. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I messed up the glide, but I somehow didn't. Okay, where did that enemy come from? Um, Sergeant Birds, can I borrow you for a minute? Because that enemy clearly respawned. Alright. Right, where's that enemy? Where is that enemy? There you are. Little git. There we go. Thank you, um, Sergeant Bird. Well, 
you can definitely uh, stand down for the rest of this episode, Sergeant Bird, because we are done with Enchanted Towers. All the gems, all the eggs, and even the skill point. Even though I kind of wish you could, I could have got the uh, course record like immediately. But then again, is there any better way to absolutely destroy Hunter's um, challenge? <laughs> I absolutely destroyed it, and ah. Oh, I kind of wish I remember how I did the Nasty Nork, but yep, you saw it there, I actually managed to do the Nasty Nork, so yeah, I managed to do what Hunter apparently couldn't do, so Spyro is definitely the much better skateboarder, that is a true fact. Well, with Enchanted Towers done, I think it's time to end this episode, so I think in terms of where we're going to go next time, probably Spooky Swamp and... I believe it did say there was a skill point, wasn't there? Yeah, destroy all piranha signs. Hmm, interesting. But that should be a very easy one to get, so shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be a, shouldn't uh, be too difficult to completely overlook that. Right. Um, let me just check. Yep, all 100% so far in this homeworld in Midday Gardens. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I believe we can fully complete. Um, spooky Swamp in uh, one visit, but the other level, I know for a fact we're going to have to visit again another time, but as I said, we're going to check out Spooky Swamp next time. Hopefully it's not going to be too spooky. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But for now, thanks very much for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.